we are finally here. We finally got brand new information for Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. What is good, everyone? Saints Five here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Super Super Hero video today, and we are breaking down everything of what happened earlier today for Dragon Ball Super Super Heroes New York Comic Con panel, which we got a lot more information. But first, if you have not already, hit the like button for this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell when I upload new videos like this. Talk about, of course, Dragon Ball. Now, we're going to start off first with the trailer, then we'll go all the way down to the small details of what has been happening and everything that has been released so far. So, let's start with the trailer. Let's go. Alright. See Boo there, red ri red ribbon army, the hero right there. Pan right there. Piccolo. This is so hype. Really, really hype. That was really, really hype. That was really, really good. All right. So there was a lot of stuff to break down. Obviously, it's gonna go right here, right there. We finally see our first new images of some of the new characters that obviously you can totally tell their Toriyama design right there. So you can see right there. Um, This, uh, we don't know if it's this the actual the same character, the little, the little kid right there, but you can see right there. Um, so he's somewhat wearing the same attire as this. We we have not talked about this a lot that I've seen from the community about this superhero looks like standing next to whoever um, this it looks like a bad guy of possibly the net new Red Ribbon Army right there. That's it right there. I'm gonna actually turn down the volume for this right here. So right there. So I'm gonna go. We're gonna break that break this down early. That's him right there. You gotta assume that the guy that's driving there is obviously him, and of course you can see um, whoever that is. And obviously we know that the Red Ribbon Army is back, so that it is the organization in the shadows. And we get surprisingly Goku and Vegeta. There is like speculation of whether or not Vegeta would be in this movie, and you obviously can tell he is. But you can see right there he's wearing his um. Badman outfit with the pink shirt and the yellow pants. So interesting that they actually took this. You can see right there, Gamma One and Gamma Two. There already, and it's interesting right there. And in the side over here, you get to see um, a pod. So we don't know what that entails so far. You can see Boo, but with a very evil look on his face, like a smile as well. So interesting that they have Boo there already. You can see right there, the red ribbon and, um, cup right there. So, obviously, the red ribbon army is back. So you have to assume that this is probably the son of the red ribbon, um, like, some, he's the son of somebody in the red ribbon army, obviously. And you can see uh, whoever he's talking to is trying to coerce him into being a hero. And you can see right there, he's wearing a hero attire, so. Whether or not it's the same as, um, so you can go further back. That's this guy. It's probably the same attire. He's probably inspired by this hero. Same gloves, same suit, with an H. I don't think we saw an H right there. It's very hard to see, but... So this kid is probably a fan of, of this hero, whoever this hero may be, that we don't know about yet. Ship flying. Heroes fires up. You can see right there. You can barely tell right there, but that is a red ribbon, um... Logo on Gamma 2. Oh, you can see right. You can get like a really good shot. You can see, barely tell right that that is Red Ribbon Army. So, we don't know if these uh, Gamma 1, Gamma 2 are invented by the Red Ribbon Army or they are from space and they decided to come to Earth to. to help out the Ribbon Army by being lied to and to take out Goku and Vegeta. Obviously, this has to do something with them. 
and possibly with Cell and the androids. Possibly no Cell in this movie, but what if he does come back? That'd be kind of crazy if he does, and that's the big reveal, but overall, there's still a lot of speculation to see. Pan training, power her key. Goku right there. Um, that was a super quick shot. Obviously, Goku is in Beerus' plan right there in the background. Piccolo right there, possibly being shot up from Gamma 1, Gamma 2. And obviously, uh, we can tell already, Piccolo will be training Pan in this movie. So that's really cool to see that Piccolo's taking more of a mentor role with Pan, obviously being a babysitter, and obviously going and asking Piccolo, or maybe Piccolo himself decided to take up the task of training Pan. Okay, right there, that shot right there, that that shot did give us the sneak preview of Broly coming out. I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna show you guys that in a bit. Gamma two talking, possibly pick a little, pick a little shot right there. And yeah, and not a lot of people were talking about this, but Mr. Satan is right there in the background. Obviously, um. Gamma 2 doing his little pose right there of Super. I am convinced right now that Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 are heroes. It's just they got tricked into um, taking out Goku, Vegeta, and Mr. Satan and Boo. So a lot is taken care of. So let's go down to the other stuff that was not talked about in this trailer. So I'm going to go right here with um, Tunuki Joe or Tunuki Kuribo. You can see the, the figurines for. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Obviously, you see Vegeta's in his um his boo outfit, all black, not the dark blue that we're used to. You can see right there, um, Goku right there, and you can see Piccolo. You can see Gamma One, Gamma Two. You can see a little bit more right there. You can see Go. Uh, ah, it is dark blue. So you see Vegeta will definitely be in this movie right there. They didn't make a figurine for him. How much of an impact it will have? We'll have to wait and see. Um, as, especially when this movie is taking place. This movie takes place. 10 years after the Boo Saga, around 10 years before this, um, 10 years, but apparently it takes two years before the 28th Tenkaichi Budokai, so right before Goku meets Oob for the first time during that tournament. So, obviously, if we know anything from this movie, Goku should not be meeting Vegeta up as of yet, but maybe they have been, as of course we know from that one life from Bulma talking about how they have not seen Goku for five years, so they should not be meeting or interacting during this movie that we know of. But obviously things could change. You can see right there Gamma 1, but he does not have the red ribbon um, logo on his arm, so possibly they got given that patch later on in the movie. So possible hints that they actually are good guys. You can see Gamma 2 right there, he does not have the patch right there, you can see right there does not have it there, so I am totally convinced that they are heroes that just got tricked into helping the Red Ribbon Army, possibly in this movie. And that will be it for right now for the the figurines. Now you can see right there, um, this is from Gatedom. As I was talking about, Dragon Ball Super is not 10 years after the Buu Saga, but the end of Z is. This was a mistranslation that was during the panel. Dragon Ball Super takes place during the, those 10 years based on the images of Dende and Pan, which we'll I'll show you guys in, in a little bit. This is presumably anywhere between one and two years before the end of Z, as I just said. So yes, there's that. Um, let's see, and let me show you right there. You can see right there, Broly is training with Goku on Beerus' planet. So possibly, we shall see a new transformation from Broly talking about maybe Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue Broly or possibly Ultra Instinct or Ultra Eagle Broly. So there's a lot of new transformations that could happen with Broly. So Broly will probably play a major part of this movie. Well, not a major part. He'll play a key part in this movie possibly in helping out taking out Gamma or Gamma 2 or Midnight Stay and Pierce's Planet. We'll have to wait and see of how strong those two are. You see right there, um, Dende right there. Grown up now. Taller now, which I I am happy to see. So he does have a little bit of color of outfit, but it's nice to see that they give a little upgrade to Dende right there. And you see Bulma still looking fairly young, two years before she gets um, quote unquote older at the end of the disease, so she probably had a major um, 
aged she aged pretty quickly during those two year span right there. So you see her, her um, jumpsuit for Capsule Corp right there with her little shoes right there. So Boma will play a part of this movie, of course. And you use like um, Cotton, or some of you guys may know as um, Corin, but Cotton, as for the official translations or official Japanese um, pronunciation of this character right there. So you can see that. Right here, and we'll go lastly with Herms talking about this. So yes, Gamma 1, Gamma 2 is presumably the Greek letter for um, that, that is written on the little belts for Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. You can all appreciate all the time and effort they put into positioning that too properly. <laughs> exactly. And also, Ikui Yoku, um, Twitter Rats right hand man, keeps referring to Dragon Ball as 10 years after the boost. Defeat, obviously not true previ to, of previous super arcs and movies, but he also specifies that the new movie is after DBS Broly, but before the 20th Tenkaichi Budokai. So make sure it's before the manga. Based on the pan and dented design, it seems like the movie must be pretty close to the 20th, 20th Tenkaichi Budokai. So it is somewhere within the time 10 years after Boo. And after right here, of, of course, talking about the Red Ribbon, Yoku was initially KG about the appearance of the Red Ribbon in the movie Movie when asked about the letter R in the trailer, he rhetorically asked if they were really there a Japanese person added an R Aru to be there and yes, as you can see right there it seems like the Red Ribbon Army makes an appearance, right? and they apparently are and that will be it for right now for this video yes, um, obviously um, Harashida, the, the director of the movie, I believe, calls the film visual pop, and I'm wondering if the term is the same meaning, meaning in English. The Japanese use of pop is indeed a bit different, being influenced by the bright colors of 1950s pop art. This is Toriyama's piece of the instance of describing of pop. But yes, we have a lot, a lot of stuff to break down. Obviously, a lot of theories of what is going to happen. Oh, also, um, I forgot to mention this. Gohan. And his family, Videl, will play a major part of this movie as well. And also, Whis and Beerus are confirmed for this movie as well. As of course, as you can see, that Goku and, and the, appears to be Broly to be training with Beerus and Whis on Beerus's planet. So expect those to come up. And as for the animation, I don't think it looks that bad. It actually looks pretty good for 3D, um, 2D art. It's just some of the scenes are kind of wonky, but hopefully those will be. Um, fixed by the time the movie is released. Well, so far, really enjoying this stuff. And, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and hit the notification bell when I upload new movies like this. Talking about first Dragon Ball, I'll be out with a prediction of what will be happening for chapter 77, I believe, for Dragon Ball Super, the manga. And we should have panel previews for this month's chapter on Sunday, which is a couple days from now, from time of recording this video. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Tell me down in the comments below what do you think about all this Dragon Ball Super New Comic Con news that we got earlier today. Really excited to hear what you guys think. Anyways, guys, this is Saiyan Survive. Sign out. I'll see you guys later. Catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.